It took me a bunch of years to finally gain the confidence to rip off the band-aid and create a YouTube channel. And recently, there have been so many videos talking about how if you're 40 or if you're over 40 that you should start a YouTube channel. So here we are. <laughs> I've started a YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Katie. I've been a photographer for 15 years. And on this YouTube channel, I'm figuring out what all the content I want to share. So it was almost like the moment I turned 40, there was a, a switch that was flipped and suddenly all these unexpected benefits of turning 40 just changed the game. So number one, I remember when I was about to turn 40, I was like, oh man, like I'm gonna be 40. And I remember as a kid, you know, a teenager, early 20s, like thinking, oh, man, 40 is so old. But honestly, now that I'm here, I'm like, no, I've just lived life and I have, you know, more wisdom, you know, just more living that's happened. And I look at younger people and I'm like, okay, you're definitely still young. <laughs> And then another thing that comes with turning 40, as my friend calls it, and I'm not going to cuss on here, she called it zero Fs 40. Suddenly you turn 40 and you just don't care about what other people think anymore. And for the longest time, that was something I was worried about. That was something that, that was just really hard to like be able to do anything that put yourself out there because of the you know concern of what other people would think. But when I turned 40, I was like, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I don't care what other people think. I don't care what strangers on the internet think. Like, you don't like it, go away. And that is okay. Not everybody has to like me, has to like you. So if there is any kind of life advice that you take from this little video here, it is that don't get wrapped up in what other people think. What a mentor once told me is that people's opinions don't pay your bills, okay? So keep that in mind when you're doing the thing you wanna do. If you're afraid of criticism, if you're afraid of you know, failing publicly, hey, just, just go for it. The power of vulnerability is something you don't know until you're actually experiencing it. And when you come upon a video like this or you come upon somebody else's video, you're like, dang, like I wish I had X, Y, Z, whatever. So I'm going to call this a YouTube experiment. I honestly am not really sure what I'm doing, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm doing it scared. I'm doing it scrappy because even at 41 years old, like I'm very scared of doing this sort of thing, but I'm like, you know what? Who cares? No one's ever going to see this. You know, it's, it's one of my early videos. This is all still kind of like experimentation. And like, I appreciate the people who just come on here and keep it real and, you know, uh, share their experience. So on my channel, I'm thinking about helping newer photographers get their businesses set up so that they can turn their passions into profits. Also talking about marketing, talking about my favorite softwares and gear as it falls into the creative space or in photography. And yeah, just kind of like, you know, checking out this whole YouTube thing. <laughs> and, and my long-term goal is to hopefully get this channel monetized. I've been inspired by seeing some other people, other smaller YouTubers, you know, get monetized. And I'm like, hey, well, why not try something new, right? So I hope you join me for this journey and see you next time.